first feature segment tonight is a part of an ongoing series called For the People, where we bring you coverage of hip hop culture as community action. This week's segment covers the Twin City celebration of hip hop, which will be going into its seventh year this coming August. Let's take a look. Who is hip hop? What is hip hop? Who is hip hop? What is hip hop? The Twin City celebration of hip hop is a three day festival slash conference uh, that happens in the city of Minneapolis. There's nothing like it anywhere remotely close to the Twin Cities. <laughs> the festival. I think it's a great space for for youth to come. It's a safe space. It's a peaceful space. It's, it's very indigenous and very unique to uh, Minneapolis people, to Twin Cities people. Coming together of a lot of different artists in the Twin Cities that might not like see each other, get to know each other. I mean there's a lot of a lot of talent in, in this place at one time. It started as an idea, um, it started as a dream, you know, it was myself, uh, and I brought an idea to a, a friend of mine, Larry Lucio, we were throwing this idea back and forth in our heads for about a year about doing a conference and a festival, but rather than just doing hip hop for hip hop's sake, try to get people that don't really, uh, don't associate themselves with each other to see how alike they are. When you see the event, you it's not just about the performers or the people competing, but you have to understand this is youth in your community putting it together. They decide the direction it goes. They decide what it looks like, how it happens, and if they weren't there or weren't present, it would just be another rap show. The, the thing about hip hop is that folks typecast hip hop a lot of time and they feel like hip hop is this, hip hop is that. Hip hop is just music, hip hop is just violence, hip hop is just uh, distress, hip hop is just this cultural four element, five element thing and they, they don't see that it's a reflection of people. It's like this is youth culture, this is the way that person is, this way that person is, this way that person is. These kids are hungry for their own representation in their city and they're hungry to come together and build something um, that's their own and that is respected and cared for. At the Hip Hop Fest, I can see people that are from Minneapolis, I can see people that are you know, big headliners. I don't get starstruck very often at all. So, but when Jean Grey came there, I remember I couldn't even talk to her. Like, she, was, she walked right past me. So excited, man. We have, of course have performances by um, local artists and we try to balance it out between you know um, well-established artists and artists who are just coming up mainly um, younger performers who are just getting their taste maybe they've never performed before. Maybe. I work with junior high and high school age students who are getting their first opportunity to, to write and record songs and for a lot of them this event is their first opportunity to perform on stage. My girlfriend I started this graffiti, a stencil crew of girls to get some experience holding the can and spraying it just so they can see different kinds of graffiti and that you know it's not a negative thing, it's art and you can put it on, you, know, you can spread your message on your clothes. This is my fourth year uh, organizing the production battle at the Hip Hop Festival. And for us, we get to perform in front of a lot of new people, a lot of people come from out of town and out of state to see different acts and we, we get to tap into other people's fans and, and let them hear our music. But I also really like it because they are trying to educate people. I know this last year they had a topic that, of discussion being ending gun violence with youth and I think that's such a big issue right now in Minneapolis. Things like the youth strategy sessions and the youth workshops that are orientated towards community organizing, social justice. We've done them around community unity, we've done them around voter engagement, we've done them 
around this whole question of is hip hop dead, is hip hop alive, what does that mean for youth culture? How can we build a stronger culture that respects youth and that incorporates their vision and their ideas into the future? I just think it's so important to give back to your community and to invest in our community. I mean, it, it makes me feel good to be doing something, like it makes me a part of something and helping out other people. Um, just, it's, I think it's a really healthy thing for the community. And they did it for the passion of it. They didn't do it for money. Uh, nobody makes money off this event. The Hip Hop Fest, I do it because it's, it's really fun and I know that a lot of people look forward to it every year. For me, personally though, Hip Hop was a chance to really network with my brothers and sisters on a positive level instead of all the negative negativity that I was involved in when I was younger. What's really cool too is you see the way that these big act performers respond to the event and respond to the audience and the youth. And these are well established acts who have performed around the world and there's youth guiding them and telling them, you know, this is what's going on, this is where you need to be. And they come out to the stage and they see all the young people and they're like, they get it. For the older cats, it brings them back to how they started out and what it was really about before it became like a job in, in this capitalist endeavor. And definitely, yeah, I haven't seen one fight pop off in the six years that it's happened. There's mad parents during the civil rights era that were, that were like, what are you doing out there? Get in here. Why are you out there being stupid? Why don't you just go with the way things are? And over time, folks realize, oh yeah, oh, they're trying something new because they want to make things better. We're trying to make things better. So what it has a beat, and so what I cuss sometimes. That's real. It means so much for us to be able to take over this part of downtown and say this is ours for right now, we're gonna do what we want with it, and you can't say anything because this is ours and we planned it out. <laughs>